Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You may want to assess finance charges on accounts with overdue balances. To apply finance charges, select Tasks Finance Charge from the menu bar to open the Calculate Finance Charges window. This window lets you select the customer or range of customers to whom finance charges should be assessed. You also enter the date the finance charges are applied from the date drop-down. To only charge finance charges to a single customer, select them from the Starting Customer drop-down and then click the Starting Customer Only button. To specify multiple customers, click the OK button instead. To filter the list of customers to a range you select, select the first customer from the Starting Customer drop-down and then select the Ending Customer from the Ending Customer drop-down. Alternatively, use the Type Mask drop-down to select a customer type you have created. Then click the OK button when you are done instead. After clicking either button, the Apply Finance Charges window appears. Here set the options for assessing finance charges and also set the reporting options. Under the Apply Finance Charges section, click the Yes option button to apply the finance charges immediately. To preview a listing of the customers who will receive finance charges without applying them, select the No option button. Under the Print Calculation Sheet section, select the Yes option to print a finance charges report listing finance charge amounts and invoice fees used in calculating charges. Select the No option to not print this report. If you choose to print the report, then in the Report Destination section, select whether the report should be viewed in a preview screen or sent directly to the printer. Then click the OK button after setting the options you want to then open the Finance Charge Report Selection window. This window shows additional reporting options. Under the Report Style section, select either Summary, which shows customer balances, or Detail, which shows invoices for each customer balance. Then select the report's sorting order under the Report Order section. Click OK when finished to view the report. If you also chose to apply finance charges, those charges are created too. Each one is an invoice. These invoices have a reference number with the prefix FC and can be edited or deleted by selecting Tasks Sales Invoicing from the menu bar. To print statements, select Reports and Forms, Accounts Receivable from the menu bar to open the Select a Report or Form window. Click the Forms tab and then select the Customer Statements choice from the Form Types scrollable list. Next, select either the Statement, Statement Continuous, or Statement Preprinted Statement Type from the Forms list. Click the Preview and Print button at the right side of the window below the preview of the statement to open the Preview and Print Customer Statements window. On the Print slash Email tab, which should be set according to the Statement Invoice defaults, select either Balance Forward or Open Item from the Statement Type section. Use the Include Items drop-down to select the items to include in the statement, and then enter any necessary date ranges from the adjacent Through date selector if needed. If desired, select either checkbox for sales slash credit memos or receipts under the Print Details for section. You can further refine the recipient list if needed by setting any additional filtering options in the Filter Customer Buys section. If needed, click the Refresh List button to display selected recipients at the right side of this window. To print the selected customer statements, click the Print slash Email button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.